Hi, this is Elizabeth. Now, I have the pleasure of including a sentence which I have created for you called the Citrus Conifers. This is an essential oil blend that is made up of four different types of certified pure tested grade essential oil. It is very, very special indeed. Let me tell you a little bit more about the contents inside so you will appreciate a little bit more about the woodland scent. What you can do with this is that you can use it like a personal fragrance and squirt it over yourself, all over. It gives you a sense of woodland, taking a walk into the forest and have that forest bathing that is so good where it invites all the antioxidants to be filled up in the environment and absorbing them into your cells. Now, this Citrus Conifers Woodlands Blend is actually made up of four essential oils. Let's look at the first one. It is actually Apobaite. It is from Canada and it's what we refer it as the giant red cedar wood. So trees that fell over a hundred years will not rot because of the amazing essential oils that is inside the wood that repels insects. Another one is green mandarin. Green mandarin is using the unripe fruit peels of the green mandarin fruit. <laughs> Third one is actually the Douglas fir. We all call it like the Christmas trees in New Zealand. And the fourth one is the cardamom and it is sourced in Guatemala. So these are the four essential oils for the green series and they are sustainably sourced at the same time helps with the environment and provide the jobs for the natives in the land that is being grown. So let us look at the key benefits of what this citrus conifers uh, scent will help you with. Well, when you spray it in the environment or you inhale it as you breathe them in, you can actually be protected against environmental and seasonal threats. It is a very powerful cleansing and purifying agent. You can use it to help repel insects. You can also promote clear breathing and respiratory health. It helps to create positive and inspiring surroundings and supports healthy nervous, digestive and respiratory system. And last but not least, it's helping to maintain healthy immune function. All these are key benefits and all you need to do is just like breathe it in and inhale and get yourself able to enjoy forest bathing without having to go to the nature if work does not permit you to. Bringing nature back into the concrete world where it helps your body to enjoy that sense of nature within the surroundings. So let's find out a little bit more about these four sustainably soft oils if I got your interest. Let's watch the first video that talks about Abobaite. This oil is really special because it is sustainably sourced from the giant Arborvitae tree that exists in the temperate rainforest of the Pacific Northwest. We tie into an existing industry, the timber industry that's been here for decades and decades and are part of a highly managed and sustainable timber industry. We source our raw material from the timber companies that are producing wood products, uh, shaken shingles, structural timber, finishing lumber, and we take that sawdust, the waste product that uh, they used to burn in previous decades, and we extract these valuable and unique uh, essential oil chemicals out of the waste biomass from that. We pay very special attention to the detail uh, of the whole process, right from the sourcing of the sawdust, um, through its handling in our yard where it's all covered and kept out of the elements, to the treating of it, pure water to steam distill it, straight through our process vessels and uh, collect the oils, separate that out of the water. The waste sawdust from the process uh, we then load into a bin that gets brought back to uh, paper mills. So not 
a single tree is being cut for the essential or in fact is being cut for the timber industry to make papers, to make other wooden products and furniture. But the byproduct of all these aftermath in terms of having the sawdust, we take it to steam distill it to get the apple essential oil. So let's go to the next one, the essential oil from the green mandarin. When we talk about green mandarin, that is the immature fruit. They go through a thinning process as they remove 70% of the immature fruit so that the remaining 30% can mature and that is then ripened and sold in the fruit market later on. Now normally the 70% that is thinned would be a waste product, but because there is a need for green mandarin essential oil, they're now able to get paid a great price for that. What a wonderful way to get compensated all the way through that process. The 70% of unripe fruit do not have to go into waste. So isn't this uh, is a clear example of how sustainably sourcing of such essential oils can help with the environment and also help us be able to enjoy the uplifting, rejuvenating and refreshing feel of the green mandarin citrus fruit. And it is the only citrus oil that is cold pressed, which you don't have to be afraid of using it on your skin and be exposed into the sun because it does not have that problem with photosensitivity. And the next essential oil that is also sustainably sourced in New Zealand, and that's Douglas fir. When we as in settlers came to New Zealand from the Americas, we brought pine trees, and they grew faster than we expected. They spread up to 15 kilometers by wind. We ended up with a big wilding pine problem. It's an absolutely beautiful tree, but not in the right place. You have all these different four species surviving in the same area. When a pine tree comes in, the needles are very acidic, and it also it creates a thick cover, and they destroy all the other forestry plants around. So there's nothing stopping them. I was brought up in this beautiful place, but I've seen it change over time, and this uh, introduction or invasion of, uh, of wilding pines. So I always, in the back of my mind, even from a little kid, wondered about kind of cool ways to try and get, get on top of them. Douglas fir essential oil is actually the only way that we can clear these smaller trees. There's no other application, but we're so lucky because it's those young trees that make such beautiful essential oil. You know, the trees Michael and I took out today don't have a huge impact on, on the, the, the mass of trees out there, but by making oil and selling oil and having oil consumed around the world, the story of what we're doing comes back. It's very hard to tell people that there's a beautiful, beautiful tree, but it needs to be taken out. And in our case, Michael and I both have children, and we don't want our kids to grow up and not see the beautiful New Zealand that we're growing up in. So our quest is to take the tree that shouldn't be there and replace it with a native tree that should be there. I want to know that we've done our best to maintain and look after our environment. I'm excited to be able to be playing part of making things better and for my children, really. Having Douglas fir as essential oil is also something that is helping with environmental stewardship's principle. And I am very, very delighted to have this inside the blend for you so that you can understand how it is sustainably sourced. And last but not least, let's watch how sourcing of cardamom essential oil is able to bring a lot of goodness to the community in this next video.
stories behind the bottle of the citrus conifers and I hope you enjoy this bottle and if you like to learn more about essential oils I'd like to, to invite you to in fact scan the QR code so that you can get to my Facebook page and know all the trainings that I've been providing for uh, people for free that allows people to learn more about essential oils and the benefits and how they can be a way of life to improve your health at the same time maintain your wellness and have a beautiful life together as a community. So this is Elizabeth and I hope all of you enjoyed the video I just presented.